film this when it's like this. Alright, there's no markings on here, I never bother marking it to get it right because it would be different for you guys to see. Alright, once, once you apply this on, if you move it, it's very, very gentle. Every little point of a millimetre counts. Now, take, it took me about half an hour to get this, the revs and uh, uh, right. But I'm trying to make it easy for you guys to understand. Once you put this on, if you move, slide it up this way, obviously it's not going to turn. It's not going to turn on. It won't do anything. If you push it all the way to the end here, it'll rev the guts out of this car. And then probably shut off. It'll pretend. Uh, if the computer gets the high revs, and this signals to it, it might turn off. Sometimes it doesn't, so you gotta quickly get around the car and turn it off in ignition. Uh, if you have it in the middle by sliding this in the middle, it'll rev out higher than you need. Around about 750, 650 is the idle revving amount to get it, even with cheaper fuel costs. Um, you'll, as you're sliding it this way fully, then bring it back down to. Oh, you would understand when you turn the car, car over again. You slide all the way to here, and then just move it about that far. If you can understand my fingers in, just just a little bit down like that. Tighten the bolts. It might be perfect revving. Uh, it might idle perfectly, but if not, take all these bolts off again and just move it very slightly, like, as you can see my fingers, just a little bit like that makes a big difference. And then tighten them back up again. It takes a little while you're going to keep doing this. And then sometimes when you're sliding it, moving it, you've got to move it sometimes, like push up down it's like um, on a car that has a distributor so you got to think of that and then you just move it up and then maybe down just slightly and just slide along until you get the right rev on your um, car once you hit around 650 700 you're spot on tighten these up not too tight if you have to do them too tight um, I'll use silicon around the rubbers that are in it if you've got an old one, but this is brand new, I didn't have to worry about that. Um, what's another one that you can do now? Some cars have got electronic bit here, there's a cord here, and these might have to be checked, they might need to be cleaned, and that can cause the high revs or non idling issues. Um, this is a fly by wire vehicle. So, um, uh, here's another uh, another issue here that can cause it. I'm just going to try and get, if you can see it, just before I turn the video off. Okay. Here it is. Yeah. Get this right. There it is there. Now this is a resistor. That's there, I'm trying to show you. What that resistor does. You probably end up having a an engine light on your, your car. Um, that plays up and that can play out with the communication. You will need to get that fixed. So hopefully that's not it. But if you just adjust it, I mean, we have to replace the resistor. You've got to replace this thing here. Here it is. There. That's the resistor I'm playing with. You have to replace that, not fix it. Excuse me. Yeah. Clean this 
governor first if that works great if not you'll have to replace it um, also if your engine lights on and you won't be able to start it that means your computer has to be looked at you can send that computer to me and I'll repair